I had the need to cook a whole mess of slabs of ribs for a camping trip that we were doing. And it occurred to me that it was really hard to put that many slabs of ribs on a grate over a fire. So, we needed some machine that can cook 18, 20 slabs of ribs to feed my whole group. And the only way I could think of doing it in a way that would work on a camping trip is a smoker. And me being the cheap Pollock that I am, I decided to take a sheet of plywood, one sheet of plywood, four sides of this box, cut it into four dimensions are a little little uh, different from side to side, but I cut it into two compartments, a lower firebox, an upper cooker chamber. I find this little $10 charcoal tabletop grill over at my local Menards, added the top, a bottom, made some grates, and we have a smoker that could smoke 20 slabs of ribs for less than 100 bucks. So let's talk a little more about this here. So again, we've got this Charcoal grill on the bottom. Just one of these $10 tabletop items that you get from Menards. Burn in a little bit of charcoal in there. I did need to modify this with the Merry Christmas tray here on the bottom because these tabletop grills are only designed to cook three or four cheeseburgers at a time and then put it out. Well, if you're burning this thing for a couple hours, that's a lot of ash. So I needed to take the normal ash pan out and just put a bigger pan there on the, on the tray down below. I did have to cut the legs a little shorter here because I learned uh, the first time I ran it with these burns here that it was a little too close to my metal pan to keep loading charcoal in. So I needed to give myself a little more hand clearance. All right, I have this little metal grate on the bottom here. What I found is I needed to separate the firebox from the cooking box to get a little better heat control up here. So all this is here is this is a piece of sheet metal I found in the ductwork section of the hardware store. I took it and I've uh, got a bunch of holes drilled in it. and little trial and error to figure out the hole size and placement, but what I did to line up those holes, because they all look so nice and perfect, took a piece of pegboard, set it down on top, and I took a punch through every other hole, or every third hole, I think, in the pegboard, punch, 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 then offset to the other punch, 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 came back with a step bit on my drill, and uh, opened them up to a little over an eighth of an inch to start with, and then I played with the temperature, seeing what it's doing, and then I take the step bit back through, opened them up a little bit more, until I got to right around three-eighths of an inch, which seemed to be the sweet spot for this uh, configuration. I built these little vents on the side here. These are dampers. They're just additional little pieces of the plywood, and they slide back and forth to control the airflow. And they are a little tight right now because it's quite humid, and the wood smelled a little bit, but they do work. We can close that, open it up, and that's just a piece of plywood, a couple of plywood stacked here, a couple of screws, and just some two-inch holes. Same setup on either side of the box. Same setup top and bottom. I do have the charcoal going right now. I'm trying to preheat this for dinner. I'm gonna close up that bottom compartment. I put the stiffener board across here because the plywood gets a little, uh, uh, bows a little bit when it's uh, hot. So put that in, close up that door, and we're good. I put a couple two by twos in the bottom there just to raise it off the ground, makes it easier to level and all that. Not a big deal. I've got these four sets of uh, two by two slides that I just cut to length to fit in there. Uh, I've got magnetic catches on here to hold the doors until I can get around to doing the latches. Um, these are about a buck and a half a piece. The hasps are about two bucks a piece. Uh, I added this little wireless thermometer. You could do this any number of ways. You could use a dial thermometer, just a hole shoved in the side. This wireless one I picked up on Amazon he has uh, two parts to it. It reads the inside temperature on the on the probe here and it also has a secondary probe to put in the meat so, but this is also a wireless unit it's a little 2.4 gig unit it's a, again a real cheapy i fancy unit that i found on amazon lithium ion batteries with little usb chargers we could put them on the side this is the part i could take and put in my pocket and walk around it takes a lot of hours to smoke meat so this end end sits right here i like this one as opposed to a lot of the other 20 30 dollar ones because the other ones didn't have a readout on it so if you have this in your pocket and you walk away, you, uh, the person who comes up and reads it has no idea what the box is doing. But this goes back and forth between the, the meat thermometer, which again, the meat's not in here yet, and the barbecue thermometer is the way it's labeled, but smoker. And then on here, same thing. I've got 80 degree meat because it's sitting here in the 80 degree weather. And I've got right now, it's just 109, which is still in the preheat phase. So that's this cool little uh, remote and it even has a even has a light on here so that it lights up at nighttime and if we get to be cooking that late. So being the cheap Pollock that you are, how much did you pay for that on Amazon? I paid $30 for this on Amazon. Close that up. 
The little fox there has a little inside joke story, but that's a little decoration, which is just a piece of paper I printed out and just glued to the front of the box. I wasn't sure how it was going to handle at first with the with the plywood and the glues and all that. I was a little uncertain on how that was going to handle, but that's why I built it. Didn't cost me nothing. Twenty-five dollars sheet of plywood, so I. I uh, heated it up just to see what it was going to do. I was feeling the edges because I knew if I was going to get glue softening, I would either see delamination or I would see sticky glue on the edges. Uh, you see the slightest amount of stickiness in the top vent holes, not the bottom, just the top, but that's it. And no delamination, these vent holes look fine. I built this really for a one use application and I think I'm going to get plenty more than one use out of these it. These are chunks. Happy chunks burn longer. These happen to be apple. These are chips. They burn quicker. When you do chips, you need to soak them about 30 minutes before you uh, throw them on there. That gets them wet so that they don't burn too fast. With the chunks, you could just soak them for a minute or two minutes or so. You don't want them too wet, otherwise they're, they're not going to burn at all. They'll smolder. Uh, but you do need them a little bit wet just to control so they don't flame so much. We're adding the chips here to Put the flavored smoke in here, a little bit of the apple, a little bit of the cherry, get a good mix, put it in there over the hot coals. Add a little cigarette ash. Yep. So when it flames up, when the chips flame up, the smoke's gonna yeah. change. Smoke, you're gonna get yeah. a lot more. Yeah, you'll get a lot more smoke. And then uh because charcoal um, nice white smoke. Charcoal burns with pretty much white, no right. smoke. Uh so you need the wood to get the smoke. Is there a particular reason you went with charcoal briquettes versus lumps? No. Okay. Because availability. That's it. it was okay. just, yeah, that's what that's what we got. So okay. People have recommended use lump as opposed to briquettes, but I, uh, I don't know. Honestly, a big difference would be ash. Oh, lump, really? you're not going to get ash. And okay. here comes the meat. These racks, incidentally, are uncoated closet racks I found at Menards. No coating, <laughs> no galvanization. Kind of learned a lesson on the galvanization with the uh, campfire Euro cooker. <laughs> <laughs> Slash campfire roaster. <laughs> Roast maker. The reality, though, the galvanization is a smoker doesn't get nearly hot enough to uh, affect the zinc. You need a good 600 degrees to affect zinc. Smoker's not coming anywhere near there. Damn you and your chemistry. Do you know the rack of meat? Yep. Do you put that all the way at the bottom? Yep. Actually, I want to move the, the move the lessers to yeah. the bottom. So if we screw up the hottest bottom ones, then they it's only three. <laughs> I sized the box, by the way, to fit the width of the racks. That's how I chose dimensions for the box. Yeah, that's what I would have done too. <laughs> Go find your mother, Lil. Or Victoria, can you take Guys, Lily to the potty? Here water. Water's done. Yeah, the water's done. You and Victoria swayed me. That's fine. No whining around the smoker box. All right, so how long are we talking about with this? We're going to attempt this here with the the three, two, one method. We're going to do three hours. They're rubbed and uncovered. Then we're going to pull them out. We're going to foil them. And in the foil packets, we're going to add a little bit of apple juice. Two hours that way. And then after those two hours, we're going to take them out again, unwrap the foil, put them back on the racks, and finish them uncovered. So three hours uncovered, two hours covered and soaking, one hour uh, uncovered again to finish them off.
Those are good. We had them in the over by dog's house when we did it. Those are really good. I did. Literally anybody. Sean. No, actually I did. I was just joking. Sean. Where's my water? I'm I not angry. I'm know. disappointed. I put it there and someone just takes it. Oh, Are you no. sure it's not hiding directly behind the fan? Because I can see it from here. Because I can see it right by the fan where you right walk through. Are you are you found are you, it? Are you better now? Maybe if he had some lunch he'd be better. Well, That's oh. not going to happen. Oh. You know it's getting moved like now. That okay. sounds like a challenge. Move it like just to the other side of the thing. No, just oh, exactly yeah. where he got it last time. Because it doesn't make sense to leave it on the cooler. Okay, but don't move honey. They're watching right now. What's hot? Give me a refill over there. Guys, I want you no further than that tree. That's what makes it delicious. No, that one over there. Right there.